Inside your home lurks a whole other world of allergies. Hi, Hi. Nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. Wow, we're going to see some exciting things today. Lots of creepy crawlies. Ooh, I don't know how exciting that sounds, but I want to see them anyway. All right. Which way? Be brave. Jeff May is the author of My House is Killing Me. He wrote the book after collecting hundreds of air samples from allergic people's homes. It's this right here. That's a clavisporium. Ooh, wait, 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 what was that? This is, that's food. That's a big chunk of food that's all spore. Here's a blue fiber from something. That's a, a mold spore there. Oh, what's that right there? Part of a foam pillow. Most of what Jeff's air samples reveal is dust. And believe it or not, most of what makes up dust is us. Well, actually, our skin. Our dead skin. Those big pink things you're seeing right now? You got it. Shed pieces of dead skin. You lose about 30 grams of skin a month. It just is constantly sloughing off your body, and then they get into the air. So if you're sitting in the movies and you know you look at the beam of light, you see all the dust, and that's all the skin. Oh, don't tell me that's skin. Sure. Oh, well, from everybody that is in the really room. Gross. So if I'm never thousand, going to the movies again. Come on. And I'm covering my popcorn if I do. <laughs> that if is a, really gross. <laughs> if there are a thousand people in the theater, in the, then you have every. If if you're sitting there long enough, you'll have every skin scale uh, in your nose. So is this is this a clump of stuff? Yeah, that's just a clump of skin. See that? If you look, that's all skin scales. That's eee. basically from a mattress. And in mattresses live one of the major players of indoor allergies, the infamous dust mite. Well, I keep hearing dust mites, dust mites, dust mites, and I haven't seen a dust mite yet. Where's a dust mite? You sure you want to do this now? I am. Yeah. Don't you want to see a dust mite? <laughs> okay, now. That's the, that's, that's the food. That's actually the food, that's right. And those holes, I thought, when the first time oh, I saw Oh, there's something no, moving in it. No. Oh, no, 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 I saw a bug moving. I saw a bug moving. Ooh. Wait, Ew. no, it's two. No, Ew. sorry, it's two of them. Sorry, no, I can't look, I can't look, I can't it's look. It's two no, of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's two of them. <laughs> I guess I really didn't want to see a dust mite. Yeah, oh my, there's like tons of stuff moving in there. But here they are in all their glory. They're eight-legged creatures related to the spider, and for the most part, you need a microscope like Jeff's to see them. Millions of dust mites live in our beds, couches, and in our favorite easy chairs, thriving on moisture, heat, and a source of protein. Well, folks, guess who's supplying the protein? The minute you get into bed, the moisture and the heat from your body probably is a little bit of a signal and then they sort of all come, they wake up. In other words, we go to sleep and then they wake up and say, you know, hey guys, come on, let's go. It's time to eat. So they're just crawling around my bed eating my skin. That's right. But it's not the actual dust mite people are allergic to. It's their feces, or more specifically, a protein in their feces. Now that actually, in the, in the middle of that hole, that's probably a fecal pellet right there. Oh, okay. That looks really tiny. Yeah. And that's what causes all the problems. And that's what causes all the allergies, yeah. That little tiny yeah. thing. The tiny dust mite. He lives in our beds, eats our dead skin, and causes terrible allergies. <laughs>